proposal, you are what you email. Our study was the humanities, and our question is, does the compulsive use of Twitter affect the grammar of college students ranging in age from 18 to 22? Um, the goals of our study is to figure out how college students are affected. We want to determine if the compulsive use of Twitter affects the grammar uh, in their professional email writing. We will be comparing emails to determine this, and we will have each student compose a professional email with no help, and we will compare it to their social media posts. Later on in our presentation, we will give you a brief example of what we will be considering a professional email. This study is important due to the fact, overwhelming facts that college students are coming in with significantly lower grammar levels than previous years. And professors are now having to provide these students with lessons on how to um, properly compose professional emails. And later in this study, we'll give you what we mean by professional email. This study is important for both college students and um, professors because it will bring light to an ongoing issue and hopefully show that show the importance of this study and how important it is to know when to use correct grammar. Um, benefits that will occur if the study is performed are wide ranging from happy professors who don't have to waste their time teaching these college students how to compose these proper emails or um, and college students realizing these grammatical errors stemming from social media and that is not acceptable in certain circumstances. Uh, our research question is does Twitter affect the grammar and email etiquette of college students ranging from ages 18 to 22 and our hypothesis states that if the average college student uses Twitter at least more than two hours a day, then their grammar and email etiquette will be affected. The background information of our study, we have two specific sources that we want to talk about. The first one is the American Association of Editors, which um, says that a significantly high amount of college students go in with uh, lower grammar skills than in the past five years. Their grammar is being transposed from these shorthands that they're having to use on Twitter due to the 140 character limit into these emails, and they don't even notice what they are doing. The next uh, piece of background information is from Johnson and Wales University who conducted a very similar research study to ours, and it was proven that these students are getting significantly lower grades, their grammar skills are low, and it is being used in their emails when they're applying for jobs and they have to send out an email. It looks like lower, uh, lower standards because they are using the shorthand once again from their compulsive use of Twitter. Um, with Twitter being a microblogging service, a limit is put on with, to the user's policy of how many characters, and characters meaning letters, how many characters they have, and they have a 140 limit character. And with this limit, this leads to incorrect grammar skills because students only have so much to type, and so they're shorthanding and coming up with um, acronyms and quotes to suffice for these long words. And since um, since they have only 140 characters, they tend to use several updates than one, just one long update. And this is one of the main reasons why college students have such a hard time sending radically correct emails to their professors. And like our hypothesis says is that if the college student uses Twitter at least two hours a day, then their grammar is affected. There are approximately 317 million users and Twitter was um, founded in 2006. Um, we will be testing our hypothesis by making our participants form a scholarly email without any assistance. We are defining scholarly, scholarly emails um, where the, some things that we're looking for are making sure that they include a subject line, they have a body, and within the body we're making sure they're using the correct punctuation marks such as um, periods, hypothesis, and periods, apostrophes, and commas. Um, we're making sure they're having a closing and 
and a signature block, which is where they leave all their contact information so that the person that they're emailing to will be able to get back to the participant or the user. Um, Well, there are no specific rules that will be, there are no laws that will be affecting our research. We want to benefit our society at large, and we will be making sure that no one is harmed. Um, we will be following the Belmont, the Belmont report, and we will be making sure that the privacy, since we are using their social media, that we will be um, making sure that we have their consent and we, and we are, um, making sure that their privacy is not being affected. The lack of grammar skills caused professor outcome to be put on hold because professors and the society wouldn't feel that applicants aren't ready for the job given. Jobs, is that the Jobs have searched social media Professors are, in are having to reteach material. Students are lacking grammar, grammar skills and they have all negative outlooks on this study. Thank you and we wanna uh, stress again that this is an ongoing issue and we hope to do research to find a new way to deal with this issue. Thank you.